sort of connection between this delusion and the ones that revived themselves? Looks like it's starting. This is a special announcement from the Delusory Administration Bureau. Kurosaki? Why? How? You may be confused right now, and we understand that. Allow me to begin with the basics. At this time, Akihabara has been chosen to be a delusion sanctuary. It's been true of every era, from prehistory to modern day. Delusions lurked beneath every great event. But people got lazy and began taking a few too many shortcuts, spilling gallons of blood before even taking the time to dry their teary eyes. So it became necessary to put an end to history as we knew it. And in order to begin writing a new history, even in the face of humiliation for my ideals, I chased them to the ends of the earth. That is my delusion. And you may tell me my delusion is a bit much if you'd like, but I will believe in it until my dying day. As a delusion sanctuary, our duty will be preserving and protecting delusions both in Akiba and across the world. Delusions are a privilege granted to all living beings and serve as a guidepost to the realization of inimitable ideals. That said, they are a precious resource, and by protecting them, we hope to serve as a foundation for global development. What the hell does preserving delusions mean? That's what I'd like to know. Why? How? Kurosaki should be... He's... Seems our director's not somebody who dies so easily. If you've been disquieted by the appearance of an hour after midnight, by all means, come and talk to us in person. And please, do not panic. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau want nothing more than to keep you safe. We will look after not just your personal safety, but the peace of the world at large. A world in which delusions can be realized will be a world of ideals, where war is a thing of the past. Do you not wish to see this world for yourselves? Then join us and embrace a future where neither tears nor blood will ever have to be spilled again. The invitation extends to every last one of you on the streets of Akihabara, as you have been chosen by delusion. We're chosen beings? For real? Huh, that's super jiggy! No, it's not true. Why have things turned out like this? But this is no longer the Akihabara you know. It has been reborn thanks to the efforts of a solitary group. That's right. They transformed a day that kept repeating into a day that will never end. Every single one of them wished for this. Wished with all they had. Is he talking about us? That can't be right. And now... I introduce you to the man behind this delusion. The man who's truly taken up the mantle, so to speak. Though I do believe you all already know him. I speak, of course, of the Pink Cape Delusion Contractor, Cannon. Allow me to guide you to a wonderful delusion. Sweeter even than your wildest dreams. Take heart, everyone. We at the Delusory Administration Bureau have recruited the ultimate authority on delusion. Cannon! 
How? I think I'm starting to get it. The one we saw Kasuga kill was a decoy. A fake. Do you think Cannon made the devil? The Delusory Administration Bureau thanks you for your attention to our special announcement. But before we go, let's give the wonderful people responsible for this spectacle another hand, shall we? They've been playing us this whole time. We've been had. They tricked us! Damn it! So, from a time loop to a never-ending day, huh? That's why Cannon lured us in back there. He was trying to make us dream up a delusion where this day never ended. And I fell for it. I just kept thinking, I wish things could stay like this forever. And Cannon contracted it out into a fully-fledged delusion. And all because I hesitated. <laughs> Don't act like you're the only one who wanted that, Tachibana. You're not that special as Snowflake. That's right. I thought the same thing. I didn't want to forget, so I didn't want the day to end. Who has no thumbs and thought the same thing? This guy. Me too. And I felt the same way, of course. I guess you could say I did too. I didn't. Honestly, I was fine either way. Warms my heart, really. But why? Why would the pink-caped freak contract out a delusion to make the day go on forever? Maybe he wanted to be immortal? I think the little lady's right. It had to have been a form of self-preservation. He just wanted to exist forever. So maybe he's not an avatar after all. It was probably instinctual. He doesn't know any other way to live. So we're stuck in a day that never ends? How is that different from a time loop day? A time-looped day is just the same day repeating itself over and over again. Okay. And a day that never ends? I don't know. Huh? Well, I do know one thing. Or I might. This is very fresh intel, so I haven't yet been able to corroborate it. Supposedly, we're completely trapped here in Akiba. Why? Akihabara is the only part of the world stuck in this particular day. Which means that we cannot leave this time bubble we're a part of, which cuts us off from the outside world. Probably because this is our delusion. And since we all met here in Akiba, our delusion is limited to this one day in this one spot. Which means the town is in a dangerous state. The reason and logic of the outside world no longer apply here. So, it's less of a delusion sanctuary and more of a delusion biosphere. I'm sure the DAB loves calling it a sanctuary. It's more of a preserve, though, if you think about it. The, the semantics aren't important. What happens if things go on like this? One second, one minute, one hour, one day. The time difference between here and the real world will keep slipping. And the farther removed we become, the less stable things will get. There's no telling what might happen. That doesn't sound good. Then we need to nullify this delusion as soon as humanly possible. That's not going to be easy, though. The pink-caped weirdo is going to be anticipating that. But if we can destroy the delusion of the never-ending day, then all the other delusions will fall, right? Well, I see some knowledge does manage to penetrate the incredible thickness of your skull. Impressive. Oh, shut up. It's not just the delusion we have to destroy, though. This will be the end. For real. Yeah. We have to completely wipe out the day we spent together. I suppose we do, don't we? And here we all thought we were prepared. <laughs> Doesn't bug me. Hey, Reiji. I'll get to stop babysitting you punks and we'll be freed from all these damn delusions. I finally get to live my life. Ray Ray, if ever there were a time to be honest with yourself, it would be now. <laughs> you ever know me to say anything that isn't true? You needn't pretend to have your life together around me. I can see right through that. Just be the child you are. 
You must realize, no? That even if the Endless Day is destroyed, that alone won't free you from the delusions. 